Let's go into number 10. Number 10 is memberships. The beauty of memberships is that it's recurring, it's recurring income, so it's more predictable. You know how much money you're going to make every month based on the number of members that you have. And as long as they're in the program, you're making that money, okay? So the inconvenient for the membership is that you really need a big audience to get started with the membership. It's just easier. Um, you know, it makes more sense when you have a lot more people than when you have like two members, right? Um, again, it depends on your price point. So it could work even if you only have two people in there. And it depends on what you include in your membership. So membership was number 10. Number 11, YouTube AdSense. Okay. So I'm not monetized yet, but that's something that you can do. And the thing with monetization on YouTube is that it's not the amount is not predictable. Like you can have, you know, ballpoint a little bit, but it, it varies. Okay. So again, don't just rely on it. Add other ways, other income streams, other income rivers to your AdSense as well. I would say that's just a bonus and that's how I would treat it as a bonus, um, extra money just because you have, um, you have it. Okay. Another way that you can make money on YouTube is with an app called Buy Me Coffee. I actually have it on my channel as well. So if you want to contribute to a channel and send them some a few, uh, send them some money for technique buy to to a for a glass of wine, for pizza, for coffee, that's something that you can set up. You set up a link and you put it on your description of your videos, and people can send you money that way. Okay, that's another way to make money. Again, not uh, a way to sustain your lifestyle, but you know. Every dollar counts. All right. So that was number 12. Buy me money. Number 13. This is speaking. This is one of my favorite things to do. You can get invited to speak. You can apply to speak at conferences. This can be done online or in person. Just like, um, which one did I say that was online and in person? Just like the VIP day. Okay. And you can get paid for it. Sometimes you only get paid for the speaking itself, but you don't get paid for um, transportation and flight. So if you do it in person, but if you do it virtually, you can get paid to speak as well at conferences and events and stuff like that. Okay. So speaking was number 13, number 14, affiliate marketing, same way as buy me coffee. You would have your links in your description of your videos, or even if it's not in a video, but in, you know, when you're on YouTube, I mean, on, on Facebook or anything like, or any other platform, you can have your other links, your referral links, for things, for products, for services, for tools that you use and that you would recommend other people. Maybe it's banking services, maybe it's business tools, maybe it's programs, like I said, and having your affiliate link allows you to make commissions without uh, the other people who, who buys through your affiliate link without them having to buy, to pay extra. Okay. They still pay the same amount, but you get a commission because they used your affiliate link. Okay. Easy money passive you don't have you just have to set it up and then once it's set up you're good okay number 15 this is sponsorship so i would say this is a little harder to set up just because you need a little more visibility a bigger audience to get that but not all the time right it just depends like i've i've used um it's, I, can't, I don't know if I could call it sponsorship, like what I've done, but I've done like a video for the embassy of Cote d'Ivoire and I guess it's sponsorship <laughs> now that I think about it. Yeah, I guess so. And yeah, so it really depends on the format of it and the, the, the terms of the contract with the brand or the organization you're working with, but it's basically paying you to create something, okay? Or you're creating a video and then it's been sponsored by a brand. All right. So you see that a lot on YouTube and you don't need to go anywhere to do that hundred percent online. And it's a great way to fund and sustain, uh, fund your move and sustain your lifestyle abroad as well. All right. So that was number 15. Where am I? Number 16 is summit summits, just like the Exodus summit that we, most of us here are familiar with, um, hosted by Rashida Dow, as well as Stephanie Perry. They, I think I've participated in the last three and a summit is, I wouldn't say it's the easiest thing to put together because not only do you need to have an audience because you're leveraging the speakers audiences as well as your own audience. So 
I wouldn't personally start with a summit. Personally, for me, it's not my favorite way to make money. Um, that's why it's not in my toolbox. Summits are not my favorite thing because I feel like, as a, as a viewer, as a participant, I feel like there's a lot of... How, how do I say that? <laughs> not all the content is valuable. Okay, there are some summits where everything is valuable, like the Exodus Summit. Most of the, the speakers and everything, you know, you learn something from them and it's great. But most of the summits I've seen out there, I don't know, I feel like it's a lot of fluff. But it's a great way for you to build your list if you're into it. And you can make money through commissions, like from each of the, the, the speakers, or they can pay you to be part of the summit okay i have a client who does that she puts together summits and to speak at her summit you need to pay okay so that's another way to to do that to make money through summits another way to make money online is through challenges okay i have a challenge but it's free if i free five the challenge but other people have challenges that are paid stephanie perry has a youtube challenge as well as a um, get your first three clients uh, channel with Rashida Dow as well. Uh, Adelia Brichade has a challenge as well. Who else has a challenge that I know? So many people have, have challenges, right? And so you can have them for free or you can have them paid. But that's another great way for you to make money. For now, my five-day challenge on how to start your online business is free. If you want to know more about the next uh, date, check out the description, the video, <laughs> check out the link. I knew I was going to mess it up. Check out the link in the description of this video to sign up for the free uh, five day challenge, the upcoming se session, okay? So challenge, great way to make money. It's, I would say it's less time consuming than a course because you don't have to record anything in advance. It's live teaching and it's just five days, okay? So it's less consuming than coaching even a group program because it's, it's a group coaching in a way but a smaller scale it's just five days and guess what even after the five days then you can open up your group coaching program or your one-on-one or a course whatever you want to do after that so there's a logical um next step that goes after your challenge whether it was paid or free you can have something else after that so again a great way to combine different ways to make money online all right so challenge was number 17 Number 18, this one I haven't done yet, but it's print on demand merch, basically. Okay, so in a lot of YouTube channels, you will see some t shirts and all kinds of merch, hoodies, um, bottles, cups at the bottom of their YouTube videos. And the beauty of that is that personally, you don't have to do anything. You just come up with a design and then you use an app, you use a, a website like Printly, or there's so many that you can use. That will do the printing, just like the book, right? You do the design and they will do the printing and the shipping. Just like when you write a book on Amazon, you do the writing, you upload your file, they will do the printing and they will do the shipping. Same thing for merch. Great way to make money. Again, probably not as consistent, but every money counts, okay? It's great to have even like seasons, like maybe for Christmas or things like that, you have special themes for certain merch boost your sales and then you just have like a year long theme and that you can make money here and there. Okay. It doesn't hurt. So merch is number 18. Number 19 is freelance. If you're really good at, let's say writing, you can do resume, you can do, you know, blog posts, you can do different things like on a platform like Upwork and you can do translations. You can do a lot of things, graphic design. And it's just like you working on different projects uh, at a time and you can make money this way. I would say it's a little less reliable than a coaching program per se, because you it's just projects when they come, when you find them. So sometimes you can be in a season when you don't have any projects and sometimes you're in a season when you're like, everybody wants to work with you. It's similar to with coaching, like coaching one-on-one, -on -one, but that's why group coaching is a little more sustainable and scalable because let's say you're working with clients for three months, and on month two, you can already have a second cohort start, and then it covers a sec. It covers even it overlaps with the first cohort, and then so you don't have to start promoting your coaching once the program is over. You can start promoting it for the other people for the rest of the world before your cohort ends. So that's how you can have 
uh, sustain more sustainable income when it comes to group coaching program, which is not always the case with one-on-one -on -one or freelancing. I realized that I have an extra one. Well, no, this one is, is more like in person. I was going to say retreat. Um, so it's more in person, even though some people use the word retreat even online, uh, like Zoom. And I personally wouldn't call it a retreat. I would probably call it like a summit or, you know, an event. But, you know, you can call it a retreat if you want. So that's that. That's semi. Like, it's on the list, but it's not on the list. Okay. <laughs> I've done retreats in person. I've done a retreat in Morocco. And, but I haven't done like a, on virtual retreat. Okay. But if that's your jam, I would say that would be number 21, I guess. But number 20 is something that a lot of people do to prepare for, to move abroad. And as they're moving abroad, that's their main way to sustain their lifestyle. And that's teaching, that's teaching English online. And if that's your jam, if you want to get certified, sometimes you don't need a certification, but most of the time you do. And we all speak English, so that's a, you have the minimum requirement, which is to be fluent in English, and uh, you can definitely do that. Some programs will pay better than others. And again, if it's not enough to sustain your lifestyle, combine it with some something else, all right? Do a course, do uh, coaching on the side, do some consulting, you know, and add it up, okay? At the end of the day, what you want is multiple streams or multiple rivers. You don't wanna just count on just one, even if it's a good one like group coaching. You wanna be able to have several ones that way your money comes from different ways and sometimes it's surprise money and sometimes it's more predictable money. But at the end of the day, you wanna be able to start with something that is the easiest for you to set up and then add more, add more, okay? Don't try to start with five of them. Start with one and then add Stack, stack them up, stack them up, stack them up. Okay. So again, if you want to know more, if you want to know more about how to do that, I would invite you to join us inside of the Freedom Business Academy, where I teach you how to start your own online business. It's a three months program. At the time of this recording, I am doing it as a better offer for the first cohort. So the price point is different than it will be in the future. At some point, I'm going to to uh, charge four ninety seven for it still for the three months and then 997 but just right now for this first cohort at the time of this recording in uh, January 2024 it's only 97 dollars still for three months together so I'm going to put the link in the description for you and see more of the details the bonuses included and see if that's something that you want to uh, join us for okay so we're going to definitely talk about all these uh, side hustle side businesses or online streams online incomes and however you want to call them the pros and cons and see based on your situation what would be the best uh, for you to pick okay and the one that you enjoy the most okay some people are really into books and journals and some people are more into courses you know it's there's no right or wrong answer there's no like best or worst is really what's what works best for you individually so that's why the way I like to teach is for looking at what's best for you. What I like to do might not be what you like to do. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it with a friend who might be interested in running a business or might be interested in moving abroad, but the money piece is the missing piece. And as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss any of my other videos just like this one. And as I share more about our preparation for our move abroad. All right, until next time. Bye.